white people catfish day up here about 6.30 a.m. I need some bait. Best time to catch these things is the last 30 minutes before dark or even at night under a light. I'm hoping I can possibly get a skipjack or two this morning. Usually you can get one first thing in the morning, but it's not near as good as the dark bite. But if we wait around until after 7.30, you ain't got a shot at getting one the rest of the day, so. I've got me a specialized sabiki type rig tied up here. And I've really got too much uh, lead on it. This thing's hard to throw because it don't weigh nothing. But I got the smallest flies I could buy. And I've got a heavier one in the back to help keep the thing straight. But because it's heavier, I've got a real dark color on it. And that might be the one they want, I don't know. There's a lot of bait hanging out in here, so uh, we're gonna mess around here. Yeah, I was able to throw that thing about 20 feet. I've got my depth finder off. The skipjacks are spooked by depth finders. And I'll take little white bass. I'll take anything I can get. I'm seeing some bait flipping around, but not my bait. I'm seeing what my bait would eat. So we're in the right spot. Can we get them to hit in the morning? So far, uh-oh, there was something right there. That sounded more like a largemouth, but I'll investigate. That was definitely a bigger fish feeding on the, what I call fry. Newly hatched fish. And it's the reason these skipjack and white bass are so hard to catch is because they are feeding on fry. It's very hard to match with any kind of lures you can buy. I've got the smallest fly that I could find. Okay, y'all, plan B. One tiny fly behind a popper float. The weight of this float I can get it a little farther from the boat. Hey, that rhymes. There was something right there. Try the popper. Come on, skipjack. White bass. Anything. I want you. I need you. We got a video to make before it gets too hot. Oh, 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 we're hooked up. We're hooked up. We got a skipjack. Please stay on that tiny fly. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, it ain't a skipjack, it's a dang largemouth. Danged old largemouth. He was carrying on like a skipjack. So far, 
that could be what I'm seeing bust the water and the skipjacks may not be here yet. They might be here in a little bit. Or it may be like I said, and they're not going to bite till right before the sun goes down. Feel like a skipjack, though. Don't feel like a skipjack. It's staying down, so it's not a skipjack. Be nice if it was a white bass. It is a white bass, y'all. Yeah. We got a white bass. I'll take that. Hard to get that little bitty hook out of the side of his jaw. be real careful with these fish because I'm running a eight pound fluorocarbon leader to this typically when I'm bait fishing the rest of the year I run a lot heavier but they're real finicky about what they're going to hit when they're feeding on this fry so one single fly so far has scored a white bass. This St. Croix Triumph Rod is not my favorite for catching a skipjack or white bass. I prefer a rod that bends more, but the stiffness of this rod makes it really easy to pop the float. That's a much softer tip, and I'm really working, and I don't get a good pop. What the pop does is simulates fish surface feeding on bait fish. They hear that splashing. They come around to investigate. Something hit me. Something grabbed a hold of it. Something grabbed a hold of it. What we got here? Yellow bass. We'll take a yellow bass. That's just like them white perch. In the Carolinas, he ain't much. But uh, it's white perch size. It's probably what I felt pulling on it before. Again, there we go. Yeah, he's on there. Probably another little yellow bass. Uh, what makes that float so nice is it gives me the weight. Oh, that's a bluegill. for no bluegill. He wasn't big enough for nothing. But uh, yeah, that popper gives me the weight to cast that little tiny fly 70, 80 foot away from the boat. Got hit. There we go. There we go. 
staying down, so it's probably a white bass or yellow bass. Another white bass. Hey, okay, it'll work. It'll work. Shut up over there! Dag blasted bird. I've seen that white bass are working. I've seen him. Small skipjack, finally. Yeah. And why don't that come out? There we go. Small skippy. One baiter. Beggars can't be choosy. All right, y'all, only one skipjack. I had a big skipjack hit that little fly. I could see him. Yeah. Um, now, I've been fishing Watts Bar, and I fished Fort Loudon once. And when I fish Watts Bar, I get my biggest fish on skipjack. But when I fished Fort Loudon, they wouldn't touch nothing but white bass. Well, we got mostly white bass. And uh, the plan was to go down to Watts Bar, because I'm on a pile of fish. It's just easy video. Bang, 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 you reel them in, you go home, you edit the video, you got a YouTube video. But we're already in Fort Loudon, so uh, let's cut up a white bass here and see what happens. You know, for, Fort Loudon is further into the spawn still. Watts Bar is getting out, out of it. It's still kind of going on in Fort Loudon. But last time I was here, I did get a few fish that had come off, so let's try this. And I'll save the two skipjack I got for when I go to Watts Bar. All right, y'all, we're going to throw this yellow bass on one rod. Going to hook him right through the snoot. I cut the tail off, give it a little flavor, smell. We're just going to pull solid white bass and yellow bass.
right, y'all. We're all baited up. White bass, yellow bass. Don't know how this morning bite will work, but we'll give it a try. It's going to be too hot to be making video later today. It's going to reach about 87, 88. My camera don't work in those temperatures. I don't work in those temperatures. I'll save my skipjack for when I go down to Watts Bar and know that's what's working better. At least this week, anyway. I've got some cold filet mignon in bread that I heated up about 4.30 this morning. And it's not still warm. I'm actually going to let it sit in the sun a little while. I'll eat a piece of cheese first. Didn't even get my cheese chewed up. Then had a couple bites. First hook up on the uh, white bass center section. Got my new chasing cat rods. They are prettier than my E-Cats. Plenty of bend in the tip. Plenty of backbone down here. Pulling these things up out of about 45 foot. There he is. I might get my bait back too. Might get my bait back. If we hurry. We got the bait back, y'all. Oh, wide headed. Ma'am. The small fish are active. We have had a ton of bites. And here again, a lot of the bigger fish could still be on the nest. But I know we're getting some off, like that one there we just caught. I'm going to reuse this. It's a good thing about white bass. You can usually get more than one fish on it. On the white bass head. I think we're doubled up.
carried away. I want my bait back. I want that bait back. Set him here for a second. This is on that little yellow bass. That's why I wanted to keep him. We lost that yellow bass. Sure did. Another Fort Loudon Blue. I'm gonna hook this through the other side of the nostril. Try to get another one like that. Throw this back out real quick. Smaller but fat little blue cat. Yeah. Well, there's three pretty quick, y'all. I'm going to put a gizzard shad head on here. The gizzard shad is getting plenty of bites down on Watts Bar. But it's not getting anything big, so we'll try it in here and see if we get a bite. I believe we're hooked up again. Yeah, we're hooked up again on that center section of white bass. come off right at the boat and that's all right we got our white bass back quick release they are liking this white bass here on Fort Loudon right now I can tell you that
ugly little fish there. Straighten out where they can see you, man. Well, y'all, I figured the smallest fish would come on that gizzard shed, and I was right. That's a Watts bar size catfish right there. That's on the white bass head. Feels pretty good. a better fish. Yeah, good old wide headed thing. Yeah. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. We got the white bass head back again. It's tough stuff.
There's another small one on the gizzard shed. Oh, still, little brother. Yeah, the bigger fish are definitely liking that white bass. Gizzard shad tends to catch small fish during the summer in my area of the river. I started out, didn't know if I was going to catch any bait, so I brought something, and that's what I brought. Gizzard shad don't have to bite good because you can catch them in a net. The pleasure boaters are getting out of bed. I'd say by about 10 o'clock, it'll be wide open out here. Yeah, here they come. It's time to eat the rest of this filet mignon. Trying to let that sun hit that aluminum foil and get it at least lukewarm. Mm -mm -mm. Small skipjack head got this one. Well, y'all, I called it right. White bass is giving me the best bite. That was on white bass right there. And white bass caught the bigger fish in this lake. And I figured it would because I've already pulled it once a few days ago. And about the only thing they would hit then was white bass. Now if I go to Watts Bar today, I'll catch small fish on white bass, small fish on gizzard shad, and the skipjack will catch the bigger fish down there. That's just what's happening. Don't ask me why, I don't know. There's another one on for the Catfish Dave show. Once I get this planer board off, and we're fixing to go. I'm ready to stop because it's getting hot. It's about 10 o'clock. He must be swimming straight towards me. Yeah, he is. Gonna make it easy. Swim straight to the boat. Yeah. Another small blue catfish. 
on the white bass. This is the same white bass head, and that was the same white bass center section that we've used all day to catch all these fish. And I've still got two white bass left I haven't used. Oh, that fish is all beat up looking. Lord have mercy. They get ugly during post-spawn. Oh yeah, that fish is fresh off the nest. You can see all the abrasion on its fin, on its side, its tail, it's all scarred up. Fresh off the nest. Same white bass head caught all them fish. I could catch five more on it. All right, y'all, another catfish lesson for the week. Uh, this time of year when bait is tough, the bite window is key. Right now, that bite window is right at dark and first light. If you ain't there, you can fish all day for them and won't get a bite. And you can see just this little bit of bait I caught today. Uh, made this whole video and still got some left. So if I wouldn't have got out here till 930, I probably wouldn't have got nothing but a heat stroke. Either way, people, I just decided to stay in Fort Loudon since uh, white bass is what I had the most of. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one signing out.